Hello travelers, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make an absolute master of alchemy. Somebody who will virtually always produce two potions or elixirs, poisons, whatever it is that you're making, instead of one. Okay, I'll show you this here real quick, just to show you that it is absolutely possible. Come over here, let's just make uh, an oil here, craft it. You can see here that we succeed at the medicine check. And if we check her, look at that. We just made 10. We only had enough ingredients to make five, but instead we made 10 oils of sharpness. One more time, one more time. Let's go here to oil of Bane. Look at this, we can make seven. So let's go to craft all. We've passed all of our medicine checks. And how many uh, of these does she now have? Oils of Bane? She now has 14 oils of Bane. Okay, so how is this possible? Well, I'm about to show you how to build it. So, basically all that we're doing here is trying to build a character with the going? best medicine check possible. You can, of course, build this with a player character, but I suggest doing it with a hireling because it does uh, require a pretty precise build. Thou walkest alone. And I would like to thank Big On Mac for showing me this build nights, on stream the other night. Okay, ever. so we want to hire well. a hireling and recruit a hireling with withers. And then the hireling that you want to recruit is the bard Brenna Brightsong. And that's because she's a halfling. Halflings get halfling luck. And since we're trying to get the highest uh, medicine skill check possible, if she somehow rolls a one on her medicine skill check, she'll re-roll it because she has the lucky trait being a halfling. So we're gonna uh, pick Brenna. Then once we get Brenna, we're going to use her to talk to Withers to change her class. In my camp. As... And now we're going to go with Wizard. Cantrips and whatever else don't really matter. If you want, grab a Long Strider or something just for utility purposes. Now what does matter is the ability points. And you're going to want 16 Wisdom. Nothing else here really matters. And we're going to want to change her skill proficiencies to medicine. One of them needs to be medicine because we want that to be as high as possible. All right, then you're just going to go ahead and confirm that. Then come out here. Second level is going to once again be wizard. And we're going to check uh, or we're going to choose transmutation because we get experimental alchemy, which allows us to make uh, two alchemical items whenever we succeed a DC 15 medicine check. Now, after that, we're going to go to Cleric. And you want to make sure that you have the Guidance Cantrip, which is there. Now, this build comes fully online at level 10, but you can start doing this, you know, early on. You just won't have a 100% chance to, uh, to make an extra item, but you'll still have a better chance to make an extra item. Anyways, here, just make sure that you have Guidance, and you should be good. Then up next, we're going to take another level of Cleric. There's nothing here that you really need. And then we take another level of Cleric yet again. And you're going to make sure that one of your prepared spells is Enhance Ability. From here on, you can enhance your Wisdom Ability. So that way you have advantage on Wisdom uh, checks or more importantly medicine checks and uh, whenever you have advantage on that that's going to obviously uh, increase your chance to succeed quite a bit and then we're going to put one more level into cleric and for your feet you want ability improvement and put both points into wisdom you want that wisdom score as high as possible now from here on out, we're actually going to take Bard. Doesn't really matter what skill you have or spells you have. I'm gonna take Bard again. Now at Bard level three, you're going to go to your skills and you're going to choose medicine here. Okay, that gets us up to a plus 10 on medicine. Pretty good, pretty good. 
confirm that. Spells, again, doesn't really matter. For our last level, or the last one that is necessary. Spells, again, don't really matter. What does matter here is your feet. You want an ability improvement, and you want that for wisdom. Get your wisdom up to 20. Okay, so you now have a 10 in medicine. You have a 5 in wisdom. That means that you could only fail the medicine check on a 1. Okay, and you have advantage on your on your uh, saving throws, or excuse me, your ability checks, thanks to using uh, enhance ability. And because you are a halfling, you also have the lucky trait. So even if you somehow roll two ones with your advantage, you still have lucky to re-roll that one again. You're going to basically make dozens, maybe even hundreds of potions, oils, poisons, whatever, and always get a double. Anyways, I hope that this helped you out. If it did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other tips or tricks like this, uh, let us know down in the comments section. Thanks again to Big Mac. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Be well, my friends.